Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do an update from my previous guy from last year about what are the best settings for your Xbox Series X, what are the best settings also for the image quality and for FPS. So we're going to look at this. So first of all, we're going to go to setting and in the option TV and display option. Right now I'm filming the uh, TV because if you want to see the 4K 120Hz, uh, no capture card are compatible right now. So that's why I need to film it. Uh, also, really important, if you want your 4K 120, you need the HDMI 2.1 on your TV. So super important, a lot of people is asking the question, if you have the HDMI 2.0, you can only do the 4K 60Hz. So first option that you have is your display resolution. So pretty cool on the Xbox, you have the 2K resolution. So this is pretty much where, depending on what you want to use, you can force the resolution uh, on your TV. So for example, I have a LG C7 also uh, on, on my basement. And uh, it only can do 4K 60, but it can do 1080p 120. So you can say, for example, here, force the resolution at 120, uh, 100, sorry, <laughs> 1080p and force the refresh rate at 120 hertz and it will work. So that's a cool feature that you can do a lot of flexibility with the Xbox. So what kind of resolution, just select what you need depending on your monitor or TV. After that refresh rate, make sure that you're using the IS one. It will be the 120 hertz. Here in the 4K TV detail, this is pretty much where you can see all the parameter that you have on your Xbox and is it working or not. So if you're seeing some uh, red like sign, I don't have it right now, you probably have an issue. So you need to look at your setting. And also it's telling me right now Dolby is at, is at off and I will tell you later why my Dolby Vision is at off. Um, calibrate TV and calibrate HDR for a game. I really recommend to do it. The HDR, it's really important to make sure that your brightness, it's not too crazy and you can see properly when you're gaming. So really important to do those calibration stuff. After that, video mode. So here you have a lot of different options. I recommend to allow 50 Hertz, 24 Hertz. Really important also to use the auto low latency mode if you have it. The VRR, the VR, a lot of people is asking me why it's in gray, I can click it. It's because probably your TV is not compatible with it. Two things, if you think your, um, your TV is compatible, make sure that you activate it on your whatever uh, game mode, game optimizer, depending on the brand that the TV that you got. Um, I have a dedicated guide if you want to look at on my LG C1 on my YouTube channel. Just look at this. I show like uh, what are the best settings for gaming. But uh, yeah, you need to make sure it's activated. I don't use the 422. I will show you why later. I'm using the PC mode on my TV to make sure that I'm using the 444. And I will tell you like what you need to do to make sure that you're using that. Um, for sure, allow the 4K. And now the famous HDR10 versus uh, the Dolby Vision with the metadata. I feel like right now all those games were made in HDR10 and they use some kind of algorithm to convert it on Dolby Vision. And Dolby Vision, it's not that great. I did a couple of comparisons. So for example, on Halo Infinite, HDR10 for me, it's a lot better than Dolby Vision. The only game right now I can say, you can use Dolby Vision, it's a little bit better. I think it's Forza Horizon 5. It's pretty cool the way they implement it, uh, but right now I really recommend to use HDR10, and we will see later with like some future game that can can have like a, like dedicated development for the Dolby Vision. Maybe it will be better, but for now I'm going with the HDR10. After that, video fidelity uh, override. Make sure that it's recommended. And the color depth, this is pretty much where you should use the 10-bit. So, for an example, if you're using um, the, the maximum bench width on the um, Xbox, it's 40. And on the um, HDMI 2.1, normally you can go until uh, 48. So, the Xbox only use 40 and the PS5 is even worse, it's 32. So, if you're doing 4K 120Hz, 12-bit uh, here... And uh, you you want to do 444, it will not work. Work You will not have the proper band whip. So that's why I really recommend to use 10-bit air. This is pretty much the best setting that you can do 10-bit with the 444. And you will maximize your console. Color space, I recommend to go with standard recommended. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the graphic uh, not the graphic, but your the setting from your um, Xbox. After that, I really recommend to look at your TV 
look at some guide. Um, the majority of the time, you need to remove all those post-processing stuff that they try to, to, to push. Um, you want to use the game mode to reduce your input lag and you will have like a very good experience on the Xbox because you have a lot of flexibility in the console with your setting. And um, in some game also, I want to mention, you will have two different modes, the quality versus performance mode. Normally, performance mode will be 4K60 and the quality will be 4K30. In some game, you will have the 4K120 uh, at performance and 4K60 at quality, really depend. Example, Halo Infinite, but uh, sometimes they're using like some kind of like dynamic resolution. So in Halo Infinite, the 4K 120, it's not really working. Uh, you will get like 110 FPS, 115, and your resolution will be like 1080p, sometimes 2K. So it's not like really 4K all the time. So for example, on Halo, I really recommend just to use the 4K 60, so the quality mode. Just do your testing. Sometimes also you have like some option on your TV that you can activate like mine. I will show you. You see bottom uh, like bottom down right of my screen. So you can see like the amount of FPS that you have, uh, your resolution, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's not your FPS. It's more like your Earths, but still you can use that. So you can, you can see like, is it dropping? Is it worth to use this mode? So just do your testing. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just come in the YouTube section. Post me like your TV, really important. What? what you want to do is it working or not also your monitor i know a lot of people is playing xbox series x on like 2k monitor so just like ask me the question and tell me what you're currently using so that's about it just subscribe to the channel and peace